One of Diddy's former backup dancers, Tanika Ray, has gone on the record to speak out against her experience with him. Um, she says that she is traumatized to this day, despite it being decades since she worked with him. Um, and she announced this hot off the heels of a revelation that Toure made on prime time. So Toure is a very famous political commentator who took to MSNBC to share a story of how he had a relative of his connect with Diddy in order to get an internship. And then after about three months, the relative stopped working with Diddy. And then he found out that it was because Diddy proposed this male relative of Toure's. And he allegedly said this, by the way, if you want to keep interning for me, then you're going to have to spend a night with me. Who? Listen, it's not even the fact that this is another man accusing Diddy of like um, coming on to them and like actual coercion. It's just the fact that this man keeps on doing this. He's got more than enough of a profile to find consenting people who genuinely want to be with him. But it seems like he gets off on going after people who do not want to be with him. And I find that to be rather disturbing, but I digress. Take a listen to Toure's story. And then afterwards, you're gonna see his former backup dancer, Tanika Ray, sharing her experience as well, okay? Here we go. Who I want you to hire them as an intern. Yeah. And uh, I have never talked about this publicly. And then uh, the internship stopped abruptly, like three or four months into it. Yeah. And I spoke to my family member, like, well, what happened? And they wouldn't say. Yeah. Years later, they finally came out, and this is a male, uh, Puff had said, come home, stay the night with me, or the internship is over. And absolutely not. <laughs> and the internship ended. Uh, but from there, I was like, oh. Oh, yeah. You know, we all have stories. Seriously, we all have stories. Mine is horrific and only five people know it. And I probably will never tell it. But it's since then I've been like, yep. And I also am very intimately aware that you tell your truth and you become victimized over and over and over and over and over and over. And mind you, I then interviewed him many times. <laughs> There's, I have a lot of stories, y'all. I've been in Hollywood for 25 years, maybe longer, 30. I got a lot of stories. Unfortunately, um, maybe I'll write a book one day, but it just is so traumatizing that women just wanna live every day and feel safe. And when we revisit and revisit, we live in a state of victimhood and nobody wants to live there. So for those of you like, why didn't you say something then? Because we just wanna live and wanna be happy. And we really wanna forget the trauma, so. There's that. Have a family. Listen, I 1000% believe what it is that Toure said. And I also believe what it is that Tanika said as well. Where there is smoke, there is fire. In my opinion, there are way too many testimonies, way too many lawsuits against Diddy for all of these people to be lying. Toure's got a lot to lose by going on MSNBC and declaring this, just like Tanika's got a lot to lose by going on social media and sharing her own testimony. Speaking of her testimony, let's take a look at what it is that she wrote to accompany this video. She said, and I quote, Oh yeah, women hold a lot in order to function every day in a man's world. Unfortunately, we can compartmentalize our pain and carry on. We utilize the experience as a lesson and move differently. If I told my story in 1996, then what? I just knew to avoid him at all costs. Yes, I danced for him and kept my space. I was on the vote or die airplane and kept my space. I interviewed him for his projects and kept my space. Nothing that is happening is surprising. Ladies, keep space to heal and move on is key. Gathering to incriminate is goals. But in this wild world with a broke ass system, our healing is priority. Shame on all those men that let this continue. Shame on me maybe for prioritizing my mental health, some would say. But after working in a place that snatches souls, mine is intact and of the light. I saved myself. Now, if someone needs me to pile on my story, give me a call. But I think Cassie got it. So it seems as though, given the shout out to Cassie, uh, Tanika saw some things in regards to those freak offs. Cassie had accused Diddy of hiring um, escorts to bone his girlfriends 
and other people that he had around him. And so perhaps Tanika was targeted for one of those freak offs or something like that. I don't know, but it seems like uh, something like that is going on. Cassie also claimed that Diddy would have her carry weapons for him or illicit substances or force her to do illicit substances, things like that. Perhaps that is what Tanika is talking about. There's a wide range of things that this could possibly be. Although it doesn't seem as though Tanika is eager to tell her story right now. She did say, if someone needs me to pile on my story, give me a call. So perhaps if MSNBC or CNN or another outlet decides to give her a call, she will, you know, find it in herself to share her own testimony. Because at this point, all of these testimonies together are doing a great job of shining a light, you know, on the ugliness and on the darkness of what has been going on in Hollywood in secret all of these years. And I feel like you can never have too many stories. You know, I know it's hard for people to go back to that place and perhaps even re-traumatize themselves by recounting these stories. But, um, you know, I don't know, but, but they're doing so much to help right now, right? And we're gonna get into this in another video, but um, do you know how Diddy's homes got raided? They said that they had very solid evidence and it had to do with all of these testimonies that people had been giving recently about Diddy. So it just goes to show how important it is to speak out. Though it's not something we can force people to do because again, it is, in some respects re-traumatizing for people to go back to these places to recount their stories um but i digress anyway Torre uh was it was really lovely of him to go ahead and share that story on television and to keep the anonymity of his relative uh because he is a very very trusted figure and um same for tanika i don't know tanika but i think it's lovely that she too is ready to co-sign somebody else and share her own story she's saying mm -hmm. what Tori saying lines up with what I've seen for myself. What Cassie said lines up with what I've seen for myself. Like there are more of us out there and that's just all we needed to know. It's not just one or two people. This is, it seems like we're heading into the dozens of people who have stories to share about Diddy. Anyway, you guys, let me know how you feel about all of this in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.